Hi, everybody. Donna and Nancy Carson coming to you today from uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Uh, Collect Direct Facebook group that we are uh, ramping things up to get started and looking forward to sharing a little bit with you tonight. I think it's a trip down memory lane, which is fitting. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's interesting when you think about the networking industry and the collectible industry, it's so fascinating in our lives how it's tied together. And we want to share that uh, this evening a little bit with all of you because some people don't understand the power of the network you have the power of the people that you might influence without even knowing you influence them, the power of your ability just to recommend things in, in your life, a good movie or a book or something that you've seen or, or, or you don't like. And, and that power can obviously go through social media in a way that, that changes people's opinions on products and services. So your network is very powerful, each and every one of you. So when you think about the network marketing industry, you know, what I'd like you all to understand is that it is just another form of distribution. And, and for my wife and I, we understand traditional business very, very well because we both own a traditional company and we're currently, between the two of us, employing around 160 people. Um, we're very busy. And so when you look at the networking industry as a marketing company or a marketing arm, what I love to share with people is it's just like the things that you've seen in the past, right? If you walk into a retail store, that's a distribution method. If you watched an infomercial and somebody was trying to sell you something late night, like, you know, when I started my first an infomercial company that I own, it was late night we were advertising. Well, that's a form of distribution. If you uh, have ever got anything in the mail or now currently buying online, that's a form of distribution. What ends up happening in the networking industry is they remove sort of stages of the profit sharing and they give it to the network. So if you have a good network, it's interesting what that can do for you because the profit is being shared in little pieces throughout each person. So I learned a long time ago that, you know, for Nancy and I, we could say, hey, we're pretty excitable people. We love energy. We love our friends. We're very enthusiastic and, and we love to entertain. But, you know, there's only so much time in the day that we have. And so when you understand what you're looking at, some of you for the first time, imagine that you have one little bit of maybe a hundred people's efforts rather than just whatever you could do. Leverage. It's time leverage. And for you and I, as busy as we are, we have always found a way to fit it in the cracks of our lives, you know, and, it, and we actually got, and I asked you to marry me on a stage, but we're going to share that story tonight uh, to, as we lead to our guest. And then we share a little bit of our comp plan tweaks and some, some more highlights about our launch here uh, coming. But, you know, my post today said, and I wrote, I said, when it, when it just makes sense, you know, you just sort of like have to look at it closely, right? And then the second part of the quote, when it was like the snowball going up the hill, was that, you know, you got to celebrate the vision when it's, when it's coming together and the success together. Well, for many people in, in traditional business or in networking, they thought they had something that was incredible, right? They thought they were going to have the best this, that, or the other thing, or the best formula and that's the challenge in the potion and lotion industry, because somebody's best is who's telling the best story. And so for us, launching a company that's never been done before in the collectible space, which is growing rapidly around the world, we are in a category creator. And for many of us, that's why we're here. Well, we and don't you find with most traditional businesses, what you're doing is you're asking people what their problems are and you're providing a solution. And this is so unique and different because that's not what we're doing here. We're not asking or providing a problem. What we're doing is creating and sharing passions, which is completely different. So in your traditional elevator pitch, you do an introduction of yourself. You have a problem, you solve a problem, and then this is completely different. You're just asking people if they know anyone that, that well, collects did. anything. Yeah. And so there's no... There's no pushback or resistance with most people because everybody's so passionate about that. So uh, it's it's really not the same formula. It's a brand new formula. So I, I want to tell you a story. You know, to get into the, this industry originally for me was you know back when I was teaching school. My first year, I went to uh, California on a summer vacation with the, my then um, person I was with, and um, you know uh, X. And um, 
I, found, I came across a glove that was really unique and I was, I was into working out in a big way then. So I brought that back and I didn't know how to be in business, but I ended up getting the rights to it for Canada by not really, you know, saying anything at all um, to guarantee anything. I just basically said to the person, look, I'm from Canada. I like to work out. I think this is a great product. Anyways, the long story short, I got the product results. That bit of trans transferring a product from the US to Canada led me to them recommending me to somebody else. My network suddenly grew by one to two. And then I was into bike lycra shorts. This is before, you know, guys would wear these things. And I was running around in bike shorts in the bars and things like that. It was a lot of fun, crazy as it is. And, you know, recommend recommendations just kept coming. My network kept growing because I kept positive and I kept doing things for those people. And as it grew from bike shorts to uh, poles for, for windsurfers to pieces for bicycles, I couldn't believe it. I'd never been in any of these things before, right? I'd never sold anything before, but the business kept growing and the network kept growing. And I meant, eventually ended up at a trade show in Chicago and got the rights to a product called Health Rider, which for some of you will know was a, a, a very successful fitness product um, that Covert Bailey uh, back in the day was promoting. And that grew to millions of dollars in sales for me. So it started from a little idea of a workout in California to suddenly leaving my teaching career with a leave of absence to get into full-time business. And, and again, keeping positive along the way. After that company and I parted, I went to another trade show and one of the lawyers and accountants from that company was now working for Bullflex USA, which some of you all know. And they recommended me before you know it, I had the rights to that product for Canada for 11 years exclusively. And I never paid a penny for the rights to it and ended up selling my company uh, on the New York Stock Exchange to a, a company that was traded many years later. I tell you that story because you just never know who people know, number one. And, and number two, you've just got to be positive all the time. Now, during that journey, I came across a product that I thought, like my opening caption, that when it just makes so much sense, you've got to look at it. I'm a timing guy. My wife and I love to be first at a lot of things, right? But I'll tell you, she's always late. But she, she, <laughs> what, <laughs> think about this. Before Amazon, before eBay, before home shopping, before online buying, can you imagine before everybody had a computer and the, and the Wi-Fi was everywhere and the internet was wild, can you imagine a, a product? And here it is. And some of these folks on this Zoom are going <laughs> to can't even believe I still have this. This is called a Startronic Star Screen. And this crazy thing back in 1994, 95, you could swipe a credit card swipe, answer the phone, order online, had a built-in shopping center. It was the first of its kind before anything else hit the market. So what went wrong? Well, I still have all these applications of people that were signing up and wanting to lease the machines and it went through the roof, right? What do you, what was missing in that incredible opportunity for the people that are on the Zoom that were in that and looking at that with me back in that day, back in 1996? Nobody, they didn't have enough money, number one, and they didn't have the ability to see where it could go. And they wanted to make sure that they could slow it down slightly, right? And that did in those days. Well, the, the product was so excitable that the company imploded with paper. It was a paper transaction that they had to sign a lease. And we saw it firsthand. Nancy and I actually, actually went and got engaged on the stage at one of those functions. That's where we were introduced to a big level get in at the early stages of something, but what was wrong with that? There was no infrastructure, there was no money, and there was nothing paid for. They had to sell, just buy another, sell to buy another. That's traditional business's biggest headache today. Banks aren't just giving money away. And when you have a partner and an owner by the name of Dave Jordan, that we are very, very blessed to be in business with, that has over 40 years of collectibles in his warehouses that he, he owns. He owns, owes nothing. And, and what he's doing for all of us is letting us share it. And he's letting us make profit in retail rewards. That takes the second step of what was missing in that great story. I even bought shares in that company. It didn't matter. They didn't have enough money. They didn't have the capital and they didn't have the infrastructure. We saw it firsthand. So I wanted to show you that because just today, just to show you how the collectible interest uh, industry ties to that story, let me just show this to you right now when I share my screen. 
I think this will probably shock you. Guess guess what's online right now on eBay? Right now, here it is. I'm I'm gonna. Can you see that? Thumbs up, Philip. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Let me just show you this because it's it's bizarre to me. What what has happened to to our lives right now? My wife and I. This product that you just saw here that I got in 1995-96 is on eBay right now for $3,800. I would throw it in the garbage. She had to, you, where'd you get it? You went looking for it. It was in oh, boxes all you over. You went looking for it, which means you walked in the garage, pivoted once, came back and said, said it's not there. there. <laughs> That's the collectible industry. So many people look at the things in the marketplace and they go, ah, I had that 20 years ago. But guess what? It was in a shoebox. They never even went to look for it. That I wanted to share that story with all of you because, because that's something that I knew was such a great timed item, but somehow somebody wants to sell it and thinks of it as a collectible for $3,800. And I just said to my wife, God, this thing's worth $3,800. You know, and it's a vintage it's item. It's still available on eBay. It's so. Unbelievable. So go buy it if you want $3,800 or I'll sell you mine for $1,500. That's there you go. I'm just kidding. Anyways, look, where this is worth what's happening, right? We're at this stage now, folks, where we're going to allow you to now start locking your spots and take over some of the entry of the item, the, 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 the users of the people that you want to get into your system. We're close to that. We're, I, I talked today, at the very latest, we would expect by Wednesday of next week, you are doing your own thing, okay? So sometime over the next three, four days, you're going to see some announcements on this. It'll be a lock your spot program where you go in there, put your name in, add your spot, get your username, get your password. Once you've got your login, then you'll go into login and you can get into our system. So what's our system and what are we talking about for those of you that have been invited here tonight and have never seen anything? Let's just watch this video just to summarize again for all of you, what is Collect Direct? <laughs> Welcome to Collect Direct. Are you ready to connect your past to your future? For over 40 years, Collect Direct has collected thousands of unique items from sports memorabilia, comic books, toys, coins, stamps, and much more. The world of collectibles is massive today, and they all have a value of some sort. And now this collection is available to the public to not only purchase, but an opportunity for you to cash in on rewards when others purchase items from our collection. From our website, you'll be able to type in and search for an item to connect you to your past. Maybe it's Bozo the Clown or Gumby or your favorite hockey player. You'll be able to find those memorabilia pieces on our website. The beautiful thing is you'll be able to point, click and share them with other people too. It all starts with our 998 membership plan. You'll select the categories you are interested in, then you can point, click and share the item with others. If they choose to participate, they can join your team. It's like operating a retail store out of your home, your computer, and phone. Share the website with others, and if they purchase an item, you get paid. Retail rewards range from five to $200. This is a 24 hour, seven day a week business where you can share hundreds of thousands of products. So don't miss out on those items from your past and start sharing today. Okay, so let me just stop that. So, so when you when you watch a video like that, for all of you that are are uh, new, you can see that the quality of that is very techno. It's very in in the no, in the in the new sort of a uh, marketing strategy. So we're really really comfortable with the messaging that's in there for all of you to use. Um, one of the things that that you'll find as you go forward is that you don't necessarily have to tell anybody uh, what you're doing because it just sort of is a it's a business. And you're in business for yourself for $9.98. You do that annually, so it's a membership. And that business allows you to point, click, and share. Our compensation plan, which I'm going to tweak a little bit on tonight for you to understand it, is, is pretty, in, it pretty simple to, to really see because of our videos. But before I, I do that, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine uh, who was actually in that crazy Startronics thing with me back in 1996. And he's sort of so excited about this because he's a collector. So Jimmy, if you're there, can you come off, off mute just so we can open up this conversation? Jimmy Weiss, where are you? I'm here, right here. I'm, uh, 
I'm having trouble with my phone. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you perfectly, yeah. Okay, all right. Jim, well, you know. Yeah. Hey, we, hey, Don. Yeah. My, first, my group's first order for that StarTronics unit was 5,000, over 5,000. It was, it was mind-boggling. We were so before, <laughs> so ahead of the curve, right? Yeah, People, I you, whatever. Those, those are the networking nightmare stories that you and I are good at. We've been through a few. So <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm, uh, I'm Jimmy Wise, and I'm one of uh, Bobby Bell's distributors. And when Bobby Bell, I hope he's listening, showed me this, I said, interesting, because I like to collect. Uh, I collect all kinds of stuff. But anyway, after I, and Don Carson influenced me big time because I respect Don. He's a damn good businessman. And I thought, wow, how interesting. Uh, and it's a first. No, no, no other company has ever networked collectible items. We don't have to sell it. It sells itself. So anyway, I want to share something with all you people tonight. But in the... First, I'd like to thank Bobby Bell for showing this to me. And his sister, Debbie Spale, is, is on the phone, I hope, and listening, because I want to uh, compliment her in that her brother allowed me to sponsor her because she's close to me. Bobby's up in North Carolina. We're down here in Florida. But I want to let Bobby Bell know that I'm going to build your sister to at least a royal distributor a royal diamond, and so she can make more money than you. That's my goal, is, is to put put her way above you in income. So I'm just letting you know that. And then, I, you know, I've got a, another buddy on here that's never networked before, and I want to thank him, Greg Dotson, for listening and, and, and saying, I want to get involved. So... I want to share this with you, then introduce one more person that wants to talk for a minute. So I'm a licensed boat captain that's 1,500 tons. I take big yachts for rich people everywhere and spend their money, and it's too much fun. Now, I've done very well, in, like Don, in conventional business and networking, but I'm trying to wrap my head around collecting and the power of it that I'm not really in tune with because I deal with coin guys that are everywhere. And, but the overall collecting industry is huge. And I get this mag, here's what I really want to share with you people. I get a, what's called a boat international magazine of all the rich people and their boats and what they're buying and what they're doing. And in the May issue, there's a, a buddy of mine that's the captain of Jason and Mina Pelasas yacht. It's 145 foot. It's transoceanic. It's a first class collectible because it's a, it was built in 1989. And it was done by a, a, an architect called Jack Hargrave. The boat is unbelievable. And obviously, He's a billionaire, twice over, this guy. He came from Vietnam, got, a, got an education at Harvard. He did very well in business, but he bought this yacht. And they did an article on him in the magazine. And his last paragraph is powerful. And it got me. I said, that's it. And he's talking about his yacht. And I'm just going to read you a little, a teeny bit of his last paragraph. He goes, I know 15 years is a long time to own a boat, he says, but if I had my way, I might get something new. But nothing is pushing me strongly in that direction. I went to the Fort Lauderdale boat show several years ago, but I couldn't find anything I liked better. That's the way it is with collector's items. They only garner more affection in time. I'm like, wow, that's it. So we're in this business, y'all, of sharing stuff that people used to own way back when. And it only gets more valuable money-wise, too. But it gets more valuable to the person and garners affection 
as they look at it or own it or whatever. And that's the industry we're now going into. And I'm fired up. I, I'm fired up more about all my networking experiences than I've ever been. And I'm, I look at big numbers, you guys, like some of you are going to do. You got to go to work. Yes, you got to build a team, blah, blah, blah. There's actually going to be people on this phone that retail and make substantial incomes. I predict that. But I want to get off of that and, and just remember that it's the way it is with collector's items. They only garner more affection. Good and in due time, some of us that are going to be buying some of these items are going to turn around and sell them maybe for a crazy number. And I, I'm, I've done that with coins, buying a coin for $1.50, wait, waiting for uh, 10, 15 years and selling it for $2,500 is a nice deal <laughs> if, if it does something like that. But in the meantime, I want to introduce you to somebody that I have never met. Yet he's a doctor and, and he's well known over there in Orlando and he's an internist. And I want to thank Kevin Mercury, who's on the phone, for introducing me to him by the telephone. And I want to give Dr. Bill Jones just a minute of your time, because I think he's got something really cool to, to say to our group. Are you on here, Bill? Dr. Bill, can you hear me, Don? I can hear you fine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Can you unmute uh, Dr. Bill or if you see him on there? Well, I'm looking. Uh, Bill, Jones. Bill Jones. Is that who it is, Bill yeah. Jones? Yep. Okay. Let me just see He's if I. Yeah, Bill. Yeah. No, no, no. Ask to unmute. Go ahead. How's this? Can you hear Perfect. me now? Yeah, there you go, Bill. Perfect. Great. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Jimmy. It's great to finally meet you, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Don and Nancy, I've known you for a while. We met a few times in. Uh, Palm Springs, California, Atlanta, and it's good to see you again. I would like to very briefly, very quickly mention three things tonight. Three quick salient points. First is this. I am in debt. I'm in heavily indebted to network marketing. I've been a doctor for over 30 years, going back into the 80s, into the 90s, and I've uh, done internal medicine. And this industry has constantly crossed my path. And it's left me with three wonderful, amazing natural products that have improved my life as well as the, the lives of my patients. It's because of people like many of the people on this Zoom meeting tonight. Vicki Kennedy back in 2004 showed me a product. Another gentleman uh, showed me a product. Uh, a lot of the people that showed me the products, some of them were very new to network marketing. There were a couple who were superstars, like the people on this, on this meeting tonight, some are new and some are very experienced. But the point is this, all of these people took the time to tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, Dr. Jones, or hey, Bill, look at this video, try this, look at this website. And I'll always be indebted to them for that. And uh, well, Easter Sunday, someone else tapped me on the shoulder, Kevin Mercury, we've been in businesses together, in network marketing businesses. And uh, I thought to myself, there's no way. I, I've got my products, I'm fine. But he did it in such an amazing stealth way. He put it on my Facebook Messenger. Now yeah, it's Easter Sunday. My wife and I were getting ready for people to come over. I'm, at, I'm getting out of the shower, getting dressed. There's this little ding on my phone. <laughs> I look at it. There's Facebook Messengers. I click on it. And who do I see? Don Carson. I'm like, I know that guy. <laughs> Within seconds. I was brought into that. Within minutes, I was walking through the hallway and, and watching this with there's Don, there's Nancy Carson. I knew them. I met them before. They're great people. They're wonderful servant leaders. What are they up to now? And there's, of course, Dave Jordan, a pure genius. He's been in other companies with me before. The man's a very gifted individual. And that 17 minutes was all it took. And that, the rest is history. So that's the one point. I'm indebted to network marketing. The second point is this. I've always heard people in network marketing talk about being bulletproof. I could never quite put my arms around that concept. 
they'd say, oh, you know, you have to be bulletproof to go out there and, and, and make your, your business work. And for the first time in 20 years of, of doing network marketing, for the first time in 20 years, I know what that feels like now being with Collect Direct. Bulletproof is, is knowing that the, the grass is green. We all know that. <laughs> right behind me here is my front lawn. If we walk through this wall, walk them to the ground, look down at our feet, the grass is green. That's what it's like to be bulletproof. We all know that. But it's dark outside right now in Florida. It's 930. And all of you could probably agree with me that if I walk out tomorrow morning, look down at my feet, the grass will be green. And <laughs> I finally get it now. It's a feeling that comes over you. It's, it's an energy. It's, I think, very much a lot of you have shared with me your, your passion for it. That makes me now bulletproof. That's what, that's what it finally means to me to be bulletproof. Third and final point. I now know that we, we all have what I consider to be the perfect storm. Uh, you know, Nancy and, and Don Carson, you know, we don't never see ourselves as other people see us. Uh, just to let you know, you come across and you are genuine, friendly, loving servant leaders. And a lot of people on, on this line, these meetings may not know you the way I do. They may question and think, are they, are they really that way? And the answer is yes, they are. What you see is what you get. So we have the perfect storm of, of heartfelt leaders with a genius of a business owner and our big leader, Dave Jordan. I know Dave Jordan has a vision and he won't do it halfway. I think he'll go full throttle down all the way. That's awesome. Uh, that's all I have to say. I, I I hope this helped people, and I just realized we're in a we're in a special opportunity right now. I Thank you, Bill. Bill. That's amazing. Appreciate your words. You know, yes, we did come across you a number of years back, and it's so nice to be able to resurface in this business together. And folks, that that's an example of what he just shared with you. Thanks for your time, Jimmy, as well, um, guys. We we are in very very interesting timeline with our feet on this grass that is the Collectrek world. And it is green because there is the ability for us to have the backing of all of this millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of collectibles paid for. We don't have to pay for it. All we got to do is share it. And the rewards will come to us in the form of retail rewards. And the compensation plan um, is designed so that you don't have to work 24-7, but you sure can if you want. There's no guarantee you'll make a dollar. But if you want to do it, you'll definitely have an opportunity. And that's our, that's our message We'll continue to share with all of you. So before I did sort of drop into a few of the tweaks to what's coming and the fact I've said the Lock the Spot program will be available early next week. That's our plan to the middle of next week. Hate uh, a new future like that. <laughs> well, it is what it is. We're just, we're adding um, hundreds per day of SKUs. And just for example, um, Dave today couldn't even believe it. They brought in pallets for them to start sorting. And on the top were two boxes of actual Tom Brady rookie cards he didn't even know he had. And he's got lots of Tom Brady, but now he's got more Tom Brady. That's the collections that he has that he was buying out. He was buying when somebody would say, uh, Dave, I have two or three of this. He'd say, well, what else do you have? They'd say, well, I've got blah, blah, blah. And he said, I'll take it all. That's what Dave does. He doesn't pick, he buys it all. Because in there is a gem, is the story that we're all going to be telling maybe five years from now. On those items that'll surface out of these collections it's like that michael jordan stuff like he literally was just buying some old flyers and bought the whole pallet of flyers and opens up the flyers and moves the boxes out of the way and the whole center is all michael jordan and he's like yeah so 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 those are there for you to point click and share so folks you're gonna have a, a lot of questions coming out to us uh, i want to just touch briefly on a, um, the compensation plan and i've had some questions recently on dual team structure and what we're recommending. When you get your lock your spot ability, um, you're gonna be, uh, basically you're gonna need to know who your, which, what leg your sponsor was in. Was it a left or a right? And, and that will be what we will call your team leg. So if you are uh, um, somebody that comes in on somebody's left team leg, well then you're gonna want to participate by adding people to that team leg, okay? Your pay leg, will be your right leg in that case, in that example. Opposite of that would be if I join Bill Jones's team on his right team, and I'm now on his team leg right, then I would start putting my first two to three, we're saying three people, members into the right team before I would start opening up 
my left leg. That's a philosophy. Now, Dale and others will have a philosophy of five, but we're going to try to pick a common number of three and recommend that. Now, why do we do that? Because you're still going to get paid in our program because we offer a unilevel pay as well and the, the retail reward. So typical dual team structures can be in a way that you won't earn money on the team that's building underneath that leg if you don't open up your other leg. Well, the important thing for you all to understand is that our compensation plan is designed with eight components. The eight components I'm gonna to touch on here quickly in 10 minutes that I'm gonna do this and then open it up to questions are, are pretty fascinating. So let me go back to sharing our screen and um, we're, gonna, we're gonna dig in here a little bit tonight, folks, because I, I need you all to understand uh, what in fact we're, we're doing here, okay? So let me just uh, uh, kill this one here. If I can, I'm gonna escape out of here. Uh, bear with me, get out of this. And I'm gonna go into this link right here, working example. Hopefully you can see this, uh, making sure that it's gonna come up here. Um, let me get log in here. Of course, um, <laughs> this is a uh, administration site currently, but it's coming every day. There's things changing in this site. Um, I can't see any of you, so I'm hoping you can see this. If anybody can come off from you, just to verify that you can see this, and I'm not not sharing my screen. We only oh. see two beautiful people. I okay, so yeah, we don't see it. That's why I had to ask that. So let me go back down and make sure I'm sharing my screen. Hang on, share screen. And we're going to go right here. Perfect. That works now. There it is. Now you can see it, right? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So we can see all that coming up right here, right? Right, Philip? Thumbs up? Perfect. Okay. Folks, so we've talked about this last week, okay? The collections. There's now 1,200 items, different categories. This is a category, okay? And an item in a category. So as we go through some of these, look at this one. Here, look at this one. Saturday Night Live, Four Bay Cards, Wayne's World, Coneheads. Like these cards from, from that, uh, why, like why would Dave have bought that? Because it was in somebody's collection, he bought it all. But there's value, go on eBay and take a look. That'll be available for $29.98 inside there. If one of your members or customers chooses to buy that because they know somebody loves Mike Myers or loves the Conads or remembers the days when the show was on, you'd make five bucks off that, right? You'd share that link, collectdirect.com forward slash whatever your username is. And if they bought that, you'd get paid $5. What about Beanie Babies? If they wanted some retired Beanie Babies, for, for those of you that don't know that market, Beanie Babies are coming back huge. The retired ones could be worth $500, some of them. Well, he's not sorting them. They're putting 12 random bit, uh, uh, retired ones for $119.98. You'd make $20 off that. But it doesn't just happen with that one transaction. That's called a retail reward, and you will make money. That's exciting. These are part of 2 million plus comic books in these boxes that you'll be able to share. 10 mixed comic books for $29.98. Fascinating. What could be one of those comic books? Who knows? It could be one worth a fortune. The comic book industry is, in, is incredible. Folks, right now, there's an online magazine being written by some of our marketing team to be able to be available right after our launch where you can read about this collectible industry. Every facet of it will be stories told of why comic books are so big, why this industry is so big. It's incredible what's being done. My wife and I had a chance to read some of the articles just recently, and it's powerful. I think that for me too, it's a trip down memory lane. I told Don that my dad used comic books as a form of babysitting tools because he would just pick me up a Archie Double Digest comic book and put me in the corner, and I'd be good for hours and hours. And I have so many happy memories of looking forward to going to the store on Friday at the confectionery and they would release another double digest or a digest magazine. And, and they used to be on a rack and you'd spin them around. And it was just, it was exciting. It was happy memories. And I think that so many people, uh, what Jimmy was talking about, about they garner more affection over time. They remember those times and the simpler parts of life. So as you see these things, we're gonna actually have $10 items. $5 items. So eventually you'll be able to build your pack with the dollar figures you want. And these items will be yours while quantities last and shipped to you. That's Collect Direct's ongoing vision of loading the SKUs. So it's not just a hockey card. In fact, one of our largest categories is NASCAR. And he, ordered, he, he entered another 15 categories in NASCAR today. Um, there's some things coming down the pipeline in these categories that you'll actually be shocked that he has. 
but they're there for all of us. And that's what's fascinating to me. So, you know, all of these things will be um, um, shared with you on our launch. But folks, the actual fun thing tonight is just to share with you that the one transaction, the retail reward, that is maybe a customer pays you a, a transaction of five to $200, let's say, um, but it's volume that's going to get generated in the tree that's going to start feeding all of these other things, recognition, the lifestyle bonus potential, uh, and, and so on. The shares you can earn of the company pool each month. It's all connected to every transaction by you and your customers and your team members because they're all going to either be in your left or your right team. So you've got to get your head around that. what this means when I say this. You get 20% of your smaller team. We pay 20% of your smaller team. And how we do that is based it on a 200 and a 100. Whatever increment in your left team or your right team that that, that 200 or 100 comes from, we're going to call it a cycle. You're going to learn all about this in videos. You're going to learn all about this in writing. But I wanted you to understand it's not just a transaction. It's a business. And the business is fed by volume. So as we go forward in a few tweaks to this plan, it was determined just recently, and again, why are we not launching? Because we are making sure we don't get hit with people coming back with a zillion questions. It was determined that we were sharing too much information. And so what we wanted to do is give you a little bit of a highlight of what you need to know, and then we're going to teach you how to research it. So you get in, refit in, different packages. We are starting off with the home run and the superstar collector. For those of you that need to understand, 279.98 will give you a package of whatever category you pick. So if you decide you want to be a superstar, you're going to get two categories. So if I clicked on this, right? If I clicked on this, it'll take me to the next page. Well, in this example here, it's not going to because I didn't full up, open up the full thing. It would go to the next team page and it would, it would tell me to pick which category, right? If it was this one, I'd get one category. Dave is giving a bonus pack with the ones that buy the superstar for us early people to get involved. So you can pick hockey, NASCAR, uh, soccer, uh, not soccer, sorry, not out of the gate. That's coming. Coins is coming as well right away. Um, uh, Beanie Babies will be in there, for example, and comic books and, and NBA basketball and so on. You could pick two of those categories and get started. But as we go forward, there's the payouts for the first categories. So a home run collector pays you $50. A superstar collector pays you $100, okay? But there's the volume that you start seeing that starts filling your tree. Now, as I go a little bit further, how do you qualify to move up the ranks? Well, the nice thing about Collect Direct and the philosophy of this ownership team, and I'm not an owner, I'm saying that the team that's, that's creating this, this world is that we want the little guy, and I pardon that, the little girl, whoever you want to describe as the person that buys that starter who eventually when we go live with that. And when will we go live with that? Uh, when Dave has enough retail product loaded for you guys to all say, hey, I'm buying whatever I want as a customer. That's, that's very soon. He could do that next Wednesday, but he's going to do that after we get the first group in there with our pre-packs, let you understand the comp plan, understand how left and right works, and then we'll open up your customer window to be able to start letting you point, click, and share to earn all your retail rewards and let the volume flow. But as you look forward here, Here's how you can move up the ladder of Collect Direct from the bottom $29 piece all the way up to the top uh, purchase price, which would be $549 currently, right? Will we have $1,000 items that you can buy? Yes. Will we have more expensive items you can buy? Yes. Will that volume count? Yes. Will you get repaid retail rewards on those higher priced items? Yes. That's all coming, but we're launching with the five and, and out of the gate for you people that have been here the longest. The first two, okay? Wanted you to understand that. So if I look a little bit further, here's some of the changes to help you when you get started to understand, okay? We're calling your personal purchases personal volume, right? So the qualifier for you to maintain a rank and move up the ladder will be based on personal volume. But here's the best part. Half of that, right, as you go forward in your qualification can come from other people. They want in terms of the network world out there, they want you to contribute. They don't want you. So they, they, up to the first $119, which is 80 BV in our world, personal VV, 40 of it will come from 
your customers, and 40 of it come, come from you. So we're, the concept here is that you're a collector in this business, but you're point click and sharing to other customers and collectors. So you're going to be sharing a little bit in the monthly requirement because that's what we've been advised to be compliant. And again, being compliant is so important for all of you. But here's the structure that you all have to know. One on the left and one on the right, right? And as you go up the ladder, if you started at this level eventually, some of your customers, they could build their volume up and their volume could start climbing with customers and members. As long as they have one on the left and one on the right, one on the left, one on the right, they could get to the home run collector line without having to purchase that 279 purchase, right? But you guys are the first people, so you're getting a chance to spearhead across to this home run and superstar. So why would you want to do that? And that's the, 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 the topic I wanted to touch on briefly here. Why would it, what would be your advantage of becoming a superstar collector as opposed to a home run collector? Well, for the first 90 days of your business, you're qualified to earn the commissions of a superstar collector. But during that 90 days, you have to at least have sponsored two home run hitters and have one person on your left and one person on your right. That's the qualifier sometime within your first 90 days. So that allows us again, folks, to go around the world and be compliant and not say, hey, just sign up here and you're going to make money. That's not what this is about. This is about building a legitimate home-based business that has no limit on what you could earn based on your effort. But again, no guarantee you'll make a penny, right? And don't be intimidated if everything that Don is saying sounds like googly gark, because uh, most of the time when he's talking, I'm completely uninterested in the dynamics of BV and PV and all of those things. The best part about this is the company figures that out for you. So even if you're building it incorrectly, you're moving in the right direction. We always like to see ignorance on fire when you're out there sharing this with people and you're excited. Then somebody that's sitting at home with like a glazed look in their eyes going, I don't know if I can exactly. do this. So it's, please do not be intimidated if you don't understand this. Uh, we are big believers in like learn and earn, exactly. learn and earn and, and start and get started and, and you don't have to sit on your hands and, and figure out how everything works. And I, and in fact, we recommend you don't. Yes. And, and I just want to say that because there's so many people that come to this in, and it's a new industry and they've never done it before. And people use abbreviations like BV and they just assume everybody Business. knows what that means. So, and Don has said it, but it can be overwhelming. Exactly. So talk about this right here. Look at personal volume, group business volume is the G, right? Those are the symbols that you'll learn pretty quickly, right? When you get going. But look at this, this equation over here. As you move up the ladder, these people don't have to maintain these positions. They just have, have to have started with that. So if you qualify with three star, three superstar collectors and start moving up to the diamond level, if those people fall off and don't decide to carry on, it doesn't matter. You're grandfathered in for life. That's the only factor within the 90 days that'll mean that you can move up the ladder and jump right ahead. And it's very, very straightforward. I just and easy. don't want him to take all the fun out of it for you. Because <laughs> well, sometimes he can be a fun sucker. Yeah. Okay. And he uses those abbreviations that are intimidating. So still have fun. She'll have the fun. I'll show you how to make money. I'm yes. just kidding. <laughs> so folks, that's the, the, the actual tweaks that happened this week so that you can understand that we are putting together now a 90 day plan for all of you that you can advance as far as you want and then maintain that once you get the volumes and so on. So you can see that a superstar collector has to have 300 in volume generating to maintain that, right? But it's very straightforward once you get your head around this a portion of the comp plan that was tweaked just this week to, to again have us compliant. This has never been done before. So the folks that are advising us, the legal advisors are saying you need to do this so you can be compliant everywhere in the world. And they've get, kept it as simple as possible. Okay. So I wanted to share that with all of you. And, and again, as you go forward and understand this, the dual team structure, the videos and so on, will explain exactly what all of this means, right? Your left and your right, and where you're going to be coming into each of your team members. So that's that's and by way of introduction. Let me let me just turn off this screen here. Uh, get off of the screen share. Hang on here. Can you see us again? Yes or no? Am my screen share off yet? I don't know. It is yeah. perfect. Okay. So let's just uh, start going with some questions. Come off mute, and let's touch on a few things. We're at uh, eight fifty. 
We're up, we've been on here for 45 minutes. Go right ahead. Who's got our first question? Can you select the same category for the two, three choices? Uh, out of the gate, no. One of, of it, one, there's seven choices, and you can only get one of each. So you'd have one of one, one of another, and then you'll get a bonus pack. The bonus pack is Dave's bonus pack he's given you. Can't tell you what's in that. Okay. So the answer to that question. Next question. I have a opinion, suggestion, sure. <laughs> a wish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was hoping that um, maybe for the Wednesday night Zooms, like the first 10, 15 minutes could be the introduction because, you know, people, the team's growing so fast. So we had a lot of new people every Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to show that video out of the gate for, for, for those folks uh, to see it. But yeah, we're still in the in the pre sort of stage. I believe that our Wednesdays will become more of a corporate event and it'll take a, a life of its own. We'll be guests eventually. We won't be the only people here right now. We're doing this until we get to that point. So, uh, Phil, excellent feedback. I agree with you. Um, you know, a traditional introduction, a, a traditional introduction, like a biz op, you know, but I think what we're going to do, Philip, is have two of these eventually a, a biz op and then a training come together. And, you know, different people will host those different events so that people can attend one if they have guests and the other one if they if they want to learn. But I'll always recommend this, and this is what we always did. Go to everything you can go to and keep learning it. Get it into your head how easy this is to talk about once you inoculate I some like of the exhibitions. things because I like getting high off of other people's energy too. Like when we go to things and somebody's buzzing, I want to go and touch them because they're like, like little electric conduits of you know, energy. <laughs> yeah. Who else has got a question? That was a great one. Anybody else? Okay, come on. Let's see. We got a few minutes here. I have a quick one. Sure. Um, so those of us that are already in and, and we already have recruits and they are where they are, they are where they are. And then when this new part comes up, we're using that to add on. Yes. Okay, I, I, I'd like, okay, I'm going to, I got the first part of it. Where you have your recruits now and currently in our tree? Yes, it's where they are. I agree. That's, that's that's it. You said something after that you lost me on. That we're adding on to that. They are yes. already there and then we're adding on to that. One. Yes. And so will they. And so will they. So you will see when you get into your lock your spot, what your tree looks like and you'll know what leg, leg you came into from your enroller and you'll have probably already split, put your first three or four into your same team, team leg. And now you're brand new building your, what you might call your pay leg or your, your right leg. If it was your left leg you came in on, you'll know that Lori and, and you'll just carry on with that and duplicate that. And, and honestly, <laughs> duplication is the most valuable word you'll all learn eventually. And, and the, the key is teach your team to teach others to teach. Don't come in and be a, a, a person that demands just say, this is what, what I've been, been advised to do. I'm doing it. It's working for me. I recommend you do the same. And at, at the end of the day, if you follow the duplication that the leaders are doing in this business, you will have some success. Not guaranteeing you'll make money, but you'll have some success. Let's be honest. I can't say guaranteed anything. Yeah. Right? Okay. Thanks. Yep. Lord. Anybody Perfect. else? Thank you. I noticed when, when I tried to get in uh, Don this day in Cincinnati, uh, some of my team members had a little bit of problem getting in. Is there is there a restriction on bandwidth? Or are you just slowly increasing the number of people able to get in on a weekly basis? Well, last week we had trouble because the, the it didn't allow us to pass 100. This week we're up to 500. So we had no problem tonight when we went to 125. It was There was no issue. Um, and that was just a, a fupa on my part. I thought I had till the 31st with the first 100. Uh, it was a credit card fupa. Yeah. So sorry, David. If you weren't here last week, David, you saw what happened. I went in there quickly and upgraded it to 500. <laughs> okay. Right. Appreciate good, good. It. So there should not be a problem with anybody getting in. Once we get past 500, as Dave says, Dale Culbert says, you better get bigger because we're going to be a lot bigger than that. If it's just on this platform, but the corporation one will be the thousands, right? Uh, right now, this is just our own FlexDirect one that we launched out of the gate. Anybody else? What uh, credit card system are you guys using? Is it PayPal? Uh, yeah, so currently uh, the three credit cards, we won't be taking Amex. Um, right. So it'll be Discovery, MasterCard, and Visa. And um, 
Um, and, and I believe he's got the PayPal uh, coming coming on board right out of the gate. But don't verify that. I'm just telling you right out of the gate, it's the first three Discovery Visa and MasterCard. But you and, can buy with credit card. You don't have to just have PayPal. No. Yeah. Okay. Right. Exactly. With credit card. Okay. Exactly. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. A uh, couple more. Yeah, Don, you had mentioned in earlier that um, if you were to come in to the to the top level to begin, you'd have 90 days to create the requirements to stay at that level. Is that correct? Yeah, and and the, and the requirements for that are you have personally enrolled two home run hitters or collectors, and that you have one IR in your left and one IR in your right. That's the 90 day qualifier. So if you were to start off as a home run or a start superstar collector within the 90 days, you're going to want to encourage a couple of home run uh, collectors to come in. Yes, that that will be your 90 day window. Thank you. That will, and what that does is it promotes people to get paid for that 90 days as a superstar collector. And folks, there is a difference. You get paid more on a cycle. You get paid more depths of your unit level right out of the gate as a superstar collector. I'm not telling you you should buy a superstar collector. You get in where you fit in, but there is an advantage for those early people that choose to take that 90 day window and put it in their advantage, their, 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 their time capsule for growth. Personally, I want to get paid the most with my efforts as I can. So I'm choosing the 549, but that's just my choice, right? So you do what you need to do. Anyone else? Don, I have feedback and a question. Sure. Yeah, the feedback is I think the 90 day is excellent because a lot of these those companies out there in the past is like, you know, 30 days, boom, boom, and then that's it. So I think a 30 day, 90 days is good on a learning curve. The question I have is you've been in traditional business and brick and mortar and all that stuff and been successful. How excited are you about this as opposed to when you got started and all that stuff? And tell us a little bit about the differences and the big advantages you see. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Great question. And, and uh, John, I mean, you know what, I, I've had a lot of success. I, I taught school, left teaching, took a leave of absence to go full-time into my own business. Um, I was almost bankrupt twice throughout that process, but I can tell you that the risk in traditional business is not worth it in my world today. I still today have uh, right now currently about $7 million worth of inventory in one of my companies. And I've paid for that. I have to sell that. It, it, and, and if I don't, I don't get paid. I've got all these employees. The advantage of this. You love it when people say you're so lucky. Oh, and they say you're so lucky. lucky. You're so, so lucky. You're in business. So lucky. Yeah. And you said if anyone could look into the window of an entrepreneur and know how luck has very little to do with it's, it. It's mind boggling. It's but I believe, and to your, to, for your great question, you you all are so lucky. Yes. Because you're being offered, I swear with all my heart, the greatest business opportunity I've ever seen in my life. Never mind the network marketing attachment to this. No that just is, that's just a bonus in my world now because I understand this industry. But it's a true business that you're being gifted by this amazing entrepreneur, Dave Jordan, with millions and millions of dollars worth of his collectibles that he's saying, go point, click, and share, and you get paid. That's what we're doing here. So why am I so excited? Because there's no risk, and all I get to do is have fun sharing with people the past and let them bring it to their future. And that's well, our trademark. And we've read a lot of articles about collectibles these days. And I encourage anybody that's on here to look into it and just see what collectibles are doing out there. They are really lighting it up. Like it's mind boggling. And, none, and all, the older it gets, the better it is, right? It's not falling off the shelf and losing its shelf life. You know, well, heck, look at that Star Tronics thing. That's I, ridiculous. And, I, and Don says, how did you find this eBay thing? And I said, I just Googled Startronics and he's going, I can't even believe that. And, and it, it just like opens your eyes. You yeah. can't even I, I, believe it. It just was it. another light bulb for me when I saw that that thing that was dusty that we've had since 96, that was a business that didn't work is worth $3,800. Maybe. Crazy. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? I, I mean, I'm not buying it because I got one. Okay. Anybody else? we got a few more minutes. This is good. I love these questions. You guys have stamps available? Yes, they're going to have stamps and coins as categories. Yes. Thank you. Will we be buying more collections? Ongoing, he's buying collections. He was on the phone today with a person that's offering them. They're always going to be buying. Dave is a, is a hoarder. He loves this stuff. <laughs> he's I, a collector. He, well, no, but he loves this stuff. He just buys it. 
some of the things that'll be interesting to see him give a finally let loose on some of them. That's going to well, be well. And Joyce was hard. a huge Coca Cola collector. That was she, one of her absolutely. favorite things. Was Coca Cola memorabilia. Hey Dale, I've I've seen you come off mute here. Let's maybe let you come and just share your thoughts. I know you how excited you are globally right now with what you're doing, and you've never seen anything like this. I'm still recording, Dale. Do you mind just saying a thing or two before we shut off? No, I, I would like to clarify something for everybody, if we can. If somebody starts at the home run collector and they don't reach their qualifications in 90 days, but they do in five months or six months, it's not like if they don't reach it within 90 days, they can never reach that level. They right. still have reached the level. That's you it. Know. Honestly, Dale, excellent. I wish you would have jumped in when, just when I said that. It's that that month you would fall out of that that you'd still be called a, a home run collector, executive title wise, but your pay level could fall down and you could get it back the next month. Yes, absolutely. You never yeah. lose your rank. Yeah, good point. Yeah, rank. So I think that's just important. But um, I think the thing that I've really come to this week is when you look at traditional network marketing. I personally believe the market is totally burnt out because so many people in the last 20 years have had people try to convince them to change their makeup and they love the makeup they're using or change their new, you know, change their vitamins and they love their GNC vitamins or their Walmart vitamins. And, and th the market itself has just heard it from so many people from so many companies, they don't want, they don't like people that are trying to convince them to change brands. And what we're doing is we're 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 telling them and giving them exactly what they want, which is that collectors want to add to their collection. And and that is a a, a brain tweak that if you really stop and think about it. Because I'm trying to figure out why are people so receptive to this? I, it's just blowing my mind. But I really think that's what it comes down to. Nobody likes people trying to convince them to change brands. I like my shampoo. I don't want to change my shampoo. But, but, oh, I can add to my collection? I love to add to my collection. I add to my collection every chance I get to add to my collection. It's just a brain tweak that, my gosh, we've got something here that is that we've never had before and we will never have again. Yeah. And, and, and this area we're in right now it will never happen again where you're at the ground floor before the launch. It's that's crazy. right. Yeah. And it took the only way it could possibly happen if somebody was buying for 40 years and putting it away. I mean, when you really when you really wrap, wrap your sure. mind around story it's unbelievable yeah, unbelievable it, it is easy to talk to business people i actually had a gentleman in my office today and he just shook his head he said are you kidding me and i mean he was interested because he had never heard anything like this ever and i never tried to recruit him he recruited himself he said well, i know all kinds of people who want this stuff you know yeah. it's mind-boggling mm -hmm. that's awesome appreciate you my friend um guys we're we're so close here. Once again, I say it every week, but every tweak of every week is to make it better. And that's what you all want us to do. I've heard it from you loud and clear. And Dave is not letting this loose until it absolutely is perfect in every every way. And it's getting closer every day. David wanted to know about his collection. Maybe you can explain that once we go live, that's when he could uh, introduce that. Yeah, so you'll have a contact and he'll have a hotline in there for you to be able to do that. But you can imagine he'll get inundated with a bunch of stuff that's not worth him having his attention. There's only going to be so much attention. He can have his experts to fly out, and look at stuff. But uh, yes, it, we, you'll have a, a hotline where you can actually send uh, a tweak of information. It'll be part of our compensation plan. Too. And you get rewarded for that. Yeah. So somebody today, Dave said, yes, I think I'm going to take that. And uh, this gal um, was excited. The fact that she's going to get rewarded for that. He's paid one couple I know right now, 60 grand over the last four months for them bringing collections to him. And then the collections will get rewarded as they sell through the tree in our in our compensation plan. We just don't want to overcomplicate. Yeah, things it's, there's so many pieces of this. It's crazy. The components are in, incredible, yeah. and the stuff that has has been talked about, and the stuff that could be coming down the pipe that everybody's been 
like lobbing balls. And it's just, it's mind boggling. It's so much larger and it's going to be so much fun. And I can't wait. <laughs> so folks, I'm going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually turn this uh, recording off. Thanks so much, everyone. And we'll see you next Wednesday.